today we are going to explore thin films. Uh, the materials you're going to need for this experiment are black construction paper, uh, clear nail polish, a shallow container, a container, uh, a measuring cup, I'm sorry, and water. So to start off, please write your name on a black strip of construction paper. Uh, then add one end of the black strip of construction paper to the, um, to the shallow pan and uh, hold the other end with your hand outside of it. Add water slowly. Make sure that one end stays dry. And uh, use use the nail polish brush to add a drop of nail polish into the pan. And you should see the nail polish spread into a thin film. Then lift the paper out of the water and you should see the thin film stick to the paper. So what's going on? The nail polish spreads out into a thin film which creates rainbow-like colors on the paper. The film is only a few hundred nanometers thick. A billion nanometers is equal to a meter. The film is slightly thicker in some places and thinner in others. The film reflects light differently depending on how thick it is, so you see different colors. How is this now? Thin films can reflect light in special ways because they're only a few hundred nanometers thick. That's in the same size range as the wavelength of visible light. Soap bu um, bubbles and oil slicks are some other examples of thin films that create beautiful, iridescent colors. Nanotechnology takes advantage of the way things behave differently at the nanoscale to make new products and applications. For example, researchers are creating thin film batteries, solar cells, and electronic displays. Thank you for watching this video. This presentation has been brought to you by the Center for Materials Research at Norfolk State University and the Children's Museum of Virginia. Thank you.